Hello and welcome to Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Carrot. You know, for over 70 episodes, I've been going cocoa for cocoa nuts. Well, let's go roast this some nuts. And as always, our sharp microwave. Never a good idea unless you want an explosion. Stop me, stop me. Safety is our number one concern. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. The masks, they do nothing. We also hide behind a big tinfoil shield. Nobody likes roasted nuts. Is it a good idea? <laughs> Absolutely. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at Jory Care and Laboratory, safety is our number one concern. That's why we microwave things like coconuts. And why we hide behind this giant tinfoil shield. We protect our nuts. Is it because... Can it protect us? This it might protect our nuts. Because nobody likes roasted nuts, okay? We have this fan here. It's to circulate the air. And we also have our sharp carousel microwave. She has two sisters. You may be thinking it's Sandra and Diane. No, they aren't related. Her two sisters are Olga and Gretchen. <laughs> they come from the long line of uh, Austrian-born women. Helga's the biggest, Helga's the best. In goes the coconut. And because of the nature of this experiment, I think uh, some duct tape might help, you know, just to keep my mind at ease. You, you're thinking the door's got to get blown open here? I think it might. I don't want to find out. You're concerned for your well-being. I get it. You can tell I'm not as concerned for Helga's well-being. But she knew what she was getting into when she took on the job. I think I made that clear to her. If I didn't, <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry, so, Helga. I wonder how long I should put it in there for. Uh, at least 35 minutes. 35? Yeah, you know, just in case. Okay. Five minutes. That's by far the longest time we've ever done for any experiment. Do it! I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Just wake me when it's over. Join you on these steps. So, just the two of us here watching this microwave. It's in there for 35 minutes. We're gonna chop it down for you, but I'd much rather be watching the Lifetime channel right now. Really? Mm. Alright, so we got about 35 minutes on this thing. We're just gonna hang out and watch. <sighs> Your stairs are really uncomfortable. Sorry, Jory. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't build you a better ship, Rose. <laughs> Everyone loves Titanic references. Yeah. Okay. With snazzy camera angles and fast camera edits, we'll make it appear as if we're having a good time. I'm picking my ear right now. I'm just going to fill you in a little. Recently, we think it's separated. So, uh, let's go find out. Are you ready for this? I'm going dun, in. Dun, 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 dun. That coconut hasn't exploded yet. I bet that orange kept it from coming apart. Watch yourself. That's been in there for like 15 minutes, dude. Yeah. This inside is probably molten, dude. So a coconut does not explode. It's hot steam, It just man. cracks. What's... Oh. Wow. I guess the coconut shell fractures too easily. At least it this just can't one. take the pressure. Look at that. Like a line. Okay, so uh, longest experiment ever. Is it a good idea to microwave a coconut? No, it really doesn't do anything. I mean, I guess. No, actually, I can't think of a good reason to do it. Well, that's it for this episode of Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. 